What's up vlog? It's Victoria. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. As you saw from the title, today I'm going to be giving you a question and answer session because I haven't done one of these in a while. So it's about time. If you're new here, my name is Victoria. I've been doing YouTube for a couple years now, trying to get back into doing my weekly videos for you guys. And I posted on my Instagram, so if you're not following me, I'll put the information up here on the screen, a Q&A box for you to drop questions that you have for me, and I'll answer them in this video. I'm just gonna start from the top of the list and work my way down. There's quite a few questions in here, some of them are similar, but I'm gonna go through all of them. Starting off strong, this question says, what's your major? So. I am currently attending Spartanburg Methodist College. There are two year programs and four year programs at this school. It's a very tiny school in South Carolina. My plan is to be here for two years. I wanna get my associates in science. And then I would like to transfer somewhere else and major in environmental science. And I want to be a national park ranger. So keep following along and we'll see where I end up transferring and what happens in the next couple of years. Next question, how's the French? So if you saw some of my previous videos, you saw that I studied abroad in Belgium where I was in the French speaking section. So naturally I was learning French. Coming back from Belgium, I haven't been immersed in the French, which has definitely been frustrating for my learning of the French, but I have been watching movies in French. I've been listening to music in French. I've been reading in French and I've been calling some friends and host families occasionally to work on my French. So, the French is still there. Not improving as quickly as I would like it to, but it's still there. What do you miss most about Belgium? So, that's a hard question. When I first came back, it was a huge adjustment, and I had a lot of friends and family that were supportive and helpful in making that big change, especially as I was moving on to college. I would have to say definitely the people I had family and friends over there that I had no idea who they were at the beginning of the year and then by the end of the year they were some of my best friends in the whole world so I definitely miss the people but I'm very thankful for social media and whatsapp and stuff like that so I can stay connected with them. What's something that you forgot existed until you got back to the U.S.? I don't think I forgot it existed I just didn't realize that there are American flags everywhere. And when I first got back, it was almost a reverse culture shock. I was like, I don't remember there being that many American flags just driving down the highway. What's one thing you miss about being on exchange? Public transportation. I miss the trains. They got me where I wanted to go quickly. They were cost effective. I miss the trains. What's your favorite thing about college? So again, the first month or so was a pretty big adjustment. I hate to say it, but I wasn't enjoying myself as much as I thought I would. Now that I've been here a little while and I've settled in and I have more friends and I'm more involved, my favorite thing is the people, the community lifestyle. Like I said, on campus, it's really tiny. So I get to meet a lot of people and I love that. What do you eat for breakfast? So again, the questions were open-ended. Um, ask me anything, I'll answer it. So I don't always eat breakfast. I know you're supposed to. Sometimes I'm just not hungry in the mornings. I love eating the oatmeal packets, instant oatmeal. I actually have a huge box of those in my dorm right now. It's like behind the camera. How's the fish? So this was one of my friends. I did actually get a fish in my dorm. It's over on that side of the room. I can insert a little clip of my fish. His name is King. He's very cute. He's a beta fish. We're hoping he makes it to Christmas break. Um, but I don't have the best track record with beta fish, but he makes me very happy. Would you ever want to study abroad again in the future? Absolutely. 100%. I don't know how because of the colleges I'm looking at. It can be a little tricky with smaller colleges to study abroad again. Um, especially to the extent that I studied abroad this past year. A lot of colleges don't offer full year-long exchanges for the amount of credits that would be actually helpful to me. And it can be very expensive. 
But if I ever do get the opportunity to study abroad again, I will look into it and I will try to do something like that again. How has the adjustment from exchange life to normal life been? It was hard. It was a hard adjustment. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, it's no big deal. I know for a lot of people, they're able to jump right back in and it's no big deal for them. But for me, it was a huge adjustment. I also didn't have a lot of time when I was getting back from exchange and then starting college. I had three weeks. When I was choosing my flight home, I chose the last possible date because I loved Belgium so much I didn't want to leave. And it was hard. There was some crying involved. There was some calling my dad saying like, oh, I don't want to be here. This is difficult. But once I got adjusted, like it's been really good. I think it's important for other exchange students to recognize that like it might not be an easy adjustment when you get back. It might be no big deal. You'll jump in and I know a lot of my friends who did the very same exchange as me were able to jump back in and it was smooth sailing. But if it's a hard adjustment for you and if you're struggling with that when you get back, just realize that, like you're not alone. You're not the only person that's going through something like that and it will get better. Like I'm so happy to be in college now but the first couple weeks were a big adjustment. Next question, favorite part of your exchange? Oh my gosh. I don't wanna say the whole thing, cause exchange is hard and it wasn't all rainbows and unicorns. But looking back, I feel like the whole thing was amazing. Even the hard parts taught me something about myself or taught me something about the world that like I would not have looked at it the way I did if I wasn't experiencing what I experienced. If I had to list my favorite parts, I would say the people I met, the trips and like extra stuff I got to do, and then also learning language. Biggest piece of advice for other exchange students. Embrace all the really awesome, amazing moments because that's why you're on exchange. But when it gets hard, like don't throw in the towel. When it gets hard, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna take a deep breath. You're gonna say, okay, this is just a moment gonna be over eventually even if the moment lasts for like three weeks like breathe through the hard moments embrace the good moments they're worth it and then breathe through the hard ones and like your exchange year is going to fly by so quickly and remember that like you were hand selected to be on exchange you had an interview to go through your exchange program selected you and they wouldn't have selected you if you couldn't handle it do you still talk with your host family so I had three host families throughout my year. I talk with all three of them a little bit, some of them more than others, just because that's how our relationship was. They all hold a very special place in my heart. And obviously I would like to stay in contact with them just because they did so much for me throughout my year. Next question, best part and worst part of college and why? The best part of college has been getting to meet new people and just kind of, gained some independence I guess. I had a lot of independence on exchange. In college you don't have like host parents telling you what to do or not do which means you can make some good decisions and some bad decisions and that's a cool thing about growing up. The worst part of college was the adjustment the first few weeks but now that I've gotten over it it's it's been great like I love it here. I'm not gonna lie, like in the first few weeks of college, I never thought I would end up liking it. And the fact that I do is just really exciting. Best part about living in a dorm. Can walk to all my classes, everything on campus. Again, it's tiny, so everything's super walkable. If there's on-campus activities or anything like that, I can walk to them. The dorm I'm in also is a pretty nice dorm compared to some of the other ones on campus. So I can adjust my air and heating. I have a shower attached to my room. Everything is very accessible and easy to get to and that's really good. Did it feel weird coming back to America after being gone for so long? Yes. And there were parts of it that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is going to be great. And it was. There were parts of it that were just so exciting and so fun. And I got to go back to the beach and I got to see my dog and I got to see my friends and I got to get my driver's license. Um, and so there were a lot of things that were like awesome, but then there were a lot of things that I was like, oh, can I please go back to Belgium? How was your first week of college? My first week was chaotic. If I had to explain it in one word, it was 
chaotic. I had never really gotten to know the girls I was living with, so that was something. Um, they're all very, very sweet. I had a roommate and two sweet mates. I mean, things have just changed over the last few weeks, so right now it's me and my sweet mate. What was a valuable experience and lesson learned from studying abroad? That's a big question. A big thing about exchange is that it teaches you a lot about yourself and a lot about the world around you, which is a huge reason a lot of people go on exchange, just to get that experience. You never want to assume that people know what you're talking about. Especially with like the language barrier. I would like say something and I would think I was making sense and I would think I was coherent, but I wasn't never a bad thing to be like hey do you understand what i'm saying we have a suggestion for a video this is they want a day in the life college edition should i do it comment down below if you would prefer a day in the life college edition or a week in the life college with that i'm going to end the video here i hope you enjoyed listening to my questions and my answers if you would like to see more stuff like this as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel with the little red button under the video or use the watermark in the bottom right hand corner of the video and i will see you next week for another video bye guys